A to G's here at Oh My Gosh Polish. Mistakes will be made. As per usual, it'll be loads of fun. So subscribe now. <laughs> now let's get into today's nail art. I'm doing water marble hearts, which I have never done in my entire life before I filmed this video. So in order to find out how to do them, I went to the only place I know that, uh, well, I mean, actually the very first person that taught me how to water marble in the very first place, and that is Colette from My Simple Little Pleasures. She it was one of her water marble videos that I saw for the first time water marbling and was gobsmacked like, oh my gosh, I've got to do that. And then for the next six months, I was disheartened and upset and sad because I couldn't do it like she does. But uh, yeah, so I 100% credit Colette from My Simple Little Pleasures for starting me on my water marble journey and also teaching me how to do water marble hearts, although hers are way better than mine. Let's get into it. I really hope you like it. Now I'm starting off with white nails and I forgot to film the actual painting of my nails. I don't know why. Anyway, so uh, you're gonna we're gonna start off with a nail cleanup porn. For those of you who love it, enjoy. I really, you know, this is for you. <laughs> Now before we get into the warm water marble, I just wanted to show you the polishes I'll be using. They're all from Ice Cream Nails. The white was ice, um, what's it called? Soft serve. The hot pink is called Bubblegum Bang. I'll also be using a lighter pink called Big Marshmallow. And I'll also be using their new pink holographic glitter, which is called Sugar Buns. It's beautiful. I'll be using Bliss Kisses Simply Peel Liquid Latex Barrier to protect the skin around my nails because I'm a complete convert. I never used to like to use liquid latex when I was water marbling. I'd always use washi tape or something else, but I'm most definitely a recent convert. So yes, there you go. I've yeah, done it. <laughs> of course, if you're allergic to latex, don't use this product. Now for water marbling, I use a white porcelain teacup. I just happen to have a few of them, so I, uh, that's why I use that, no particular reason. Plus it's easy to clean up, like you can use acetone or non-acetone remover like me and clean up the sides around the cup after each water marble. So it's, I, I think, it, and it's environmentally friendly, I guess you could say, yeah because I'm not throwing away a paper cup, anyway. Uh, also um, be using um, a, the water marbler tool from What's Up Nails. I've got a couple of these from different places, but the one I'm using today is from What's Up Nails. Links will be in the description box down below, as per usual. So, to create the, uh, oh, what did I call them? Water marble hearts. <laughs> now, uh, the one, the, the movie or the video that I watched of Colette's was, she was doing smoky hearts, but I didn't do the smoky bit. I'm just, well, not intentionally anyway. Uh, so, we're basically going to build up to a bullseye once you get all of your rings done and you can do as many as you want but the, the more i think the more rings you do the smaller you can make your, butterf your butterfly your love heart and because my nails aren't as long as colette's i needed to do small ones or smallish ones uh, and i'm going to show you both nails because they both came out quite differently as you would have seen in the original photo so uh, i'm just following the exact instructions of what colette did and um, I, I find it difficult to explain this in words, so I think it's just best if you watch, and then you'll 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 see and you'll understand. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Now, as you can see, also I'm having to turn around my cup quite like a whole 180 in order for me to be able to dip my nail so that I can get the heart on my nail in the way that I want it. The problem for me is I'm using a teacup, so it has a handle and it got stuck on my 
uh, on my tripod. So just be uh, be mindful of that and um, be very careful when you're turning your cup around so that you don't warp the image or, at all because you know that wouldn't be fun. Now you'll notice that uh, even th the surface of the water marble was quite light but once I pull my finger out, <laughs> pull my finger out, uh, you'll see that the heart that I created is quite a lot darker than it's certainly darker than what I was expecting it to be and that's why I wanted to show you especially considering how the second one came out on my index nail uh, that it is much lighter but then I, I think I put the polishes in a little bit differently as well and I used white instead well not instead but as well Now at this point I was deciding basically whether or not I wanted to do another one and then uh, while I was doing that I decided to sponge on some of this gorgeous holographic pink from Ice Cream Nails onto my ring fingernail and I, again I used liquid latex to protect the skin around my nails and then I pretty much covered the entire nail using the sponge with that beautiful holographic pink. Now this holographic pink is much darker than Starly's Menchie the Cat holographic pink. They're the only two holographic pink, um, oh well they're not really, anyway. They're very similar consistency, so, um, but I think the Starly one is a little bit more linear as in uh, when you look at the bottle, you can see the rainbows shifting in like, oh, it's hard to, I should have probably done a comparison. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Anyway, this one's really, really pretty. It's super duper pretty. Okay, so let's move on to the second water marble. This is the lighter pink love heart that I did on my index nail and I'm starting off with white rather than the hot pink and I think just by adding a little bit of white helped the, in the end result to make it a little bit lighter and yeah that's just my opinion I could be wrong but I think that's why uh, yeah otherwise everything else is pretty much exactly the same although uh, I think I did a couple more dots on this one I didn't count them I'm too lazy to do it right now but I think that is the reason why I ended up with a smaller love heart or smaller couple of love hearts rather than the one on the middle nail which ended up being quite big and almost too big for my nail which is a bit unfortunate. Now I hope you notice once I pull my finger out of the water you'll, you you should notice just how much better this one was. So that's just two of those love hearts I've done now and I already am better at it from the first time. See how much better you get, you learn from your mistakes and then you move on and you keep going, you power through, you don't ever give up. Like you can give up for a couple of weeks because it, it can be quite demoralizing this uh, water marbling stuff. but. Don't give up forever because you will get it eventually. I promise you that. Now, of course, once you've completed your cleanup and everything is completely dry, you can go ahead and seal it all in with your favorite top coat. Of course, I'm using Seshfeet as per usual. And that's it for this one. I hope you liked it as much as I did and I hope I've given it to you in time for Valentine's Day. I know it's kind of a little bit late-ish but this is the last Valentine's Manny I'll be doing for this year. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy that I tried something new on the last one. So yay. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. Oh and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. And don't forget to go and watch my previous video and of course subscribe. It's free. I'm going now. Bye. Oh I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Or not. It's up to you. <laughs> okay. I'm really going now. I really am. Okay bye.